People are hurting out there, friends. Talk about small groups. Can I challenge you today? And, and to let you know that there's, there's a, a good model for you in Mark chapter 2. Five nameless men. Five silent men. Four of them were healthy. One was helpless. One man had palsy and power. He was paralyzed, couldn't move. He couldn't, he couldn't help himself. Do you know there's a lot of people in Monroe who can't help themselves? A lot of them in the Pittsburgh area, they can't help themselves. If they don't have somebody to care about them and help them, there's no hope for them. But I want you to know out of this group, I believe the Holy Spirit has spoken to my heart and say, you need to be a part of a band of brothers. These are four men. I don't know how they got together or, or what they did for a while, but they cooperated together and agreed together that they were going to help this helpless person. And so the Bible doesn't give us much information about what they had done before, but I'm sure there, there had to be some uh, tasks that were not real pleasant to do. I mean, the guy would need to be cleaned up every once in a while. He would need to be fed. He would need to be changed. He would need to be helped. He couldn't help himself. And so they said, hey, let's, uh, let's, let's take this dude on as, as our ministry project. They heard Jesus was coming to town. And they thought, I sure would like to see him and hear him. And wouldn't it be great if we could get our friend? We hear that he has the power to heal people and he has the power to change their lives. What do you say we try to get this man to Jesus? So I don't know what kind of bed that was that he was laying on, but the four of them picked it up, carried it to the house where they heard Jesus was. Got there, couldn't get in. Place was jam-packed. Even outside the Bible, so you couldn't even get near the place. By the power, I believe, inspiration of the Holy Spirit. I don't know if one or all of them got the idea at the same time, but they said, let's take the roof off this place and drop this man down in where he's teaching. And they did. They're in the Middle East. Those houses have flat roofs and they're made out of sod and easy to be removed and replaced. So they went to the top of the roof, removed the sod, removed the, 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 the ceiling, and they lowered the man down. We don't know their name. They never said a word. You don't have to be able to preach to be a part of a small group. You just have to care. Now, you didn't hear me, did you? I got I to gotta run that by you again. You don't have to be able to speak. You don't have to be an eloquent preacher. You don't have to be able to say a word. But if you care about the hurting, there are a lot of people who are helpless. And without somebody to help them, you're the man. You're the men that can make a difference eternally. Oh my, I wish I could press this strongly enough on you. You can make a difference. You can make a difference in the eternity of somebody who can't help themselves. And just agree together, say, we're going to be a band of brothers. We're going to get this man to Jesus. I don't care what it takes. We're determined to do it. Doesn't know what it takes, what obstacles are in our way. They're not going to stop us.